Fun fact, this time one year ago, I was celebrating 330 subscribers. It's been a big year. to my channel and happy day 17 of vlogmas we are almost there just over one week left of these holiday videos and then it will be christmas time like i said in the intro it was this time one year ago i was celebrating having 330 subscribers and i really did celebrate that i thought that was a huge milestone like over 300 people subscribed to my channel. It was fantastic. And then this year, we have grown so much. We have just hit the 6,000 subscriber mark and hopefully we'll get to 6,100 before the end of the year. I cannot believe that happened. It's just been such a great year of trial and error, trying different things out. And a lot of people are asking me, whether it's an email or Instagram DM, or even some people in my life will take me to lunch and they'll ask, how did you do that? Like, what did you do that took you from no, two to 300, just over 6,000 subscribers in a year. And if you remember, I hit my 1,000 in April. So I've essentially gone in the past, what is it, like eight months, I had to think, math, huh, math. From between April and December, I went from 1,000 to 6,000 subscribers. I didn't purchase anything, I didn't join any networks. I just did the 10 things on this list that I'm going to share with you today. My top 10 ways to grow your YouTube channel for free. Don't go out and buy things or join networks. Try these 10 things and see how they work. Before we start, let me know down below in the comments where you are in your YouTube journey and where you hope to be in the next 12 months. Like right now, as you're watching this video, it's the end of 2017. Let me know where you would like yourself and your channel to be at the end of 2018. If you don't do YouTube, just let me know where you'd like your life to be. We can have a little conversation down below. And before we start, if you're not subscribed already, we have plenty of things coming up on this channel at the end of this year and going into next year. So if you have not yet subscribed, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time a new video comes out. But here they are, the top 10 ways to grow a YouTube channel for free. Number one is to have a banner and a picture. This will show not just people that would subscribe to you, it shows anybody in the community and on the platform that you are a real person that takes your profile seriously. A lot of times when I get hate messages or comments or anything like that, it's usually from somebody that has nothing on their profile. They're usually just using like a spamming account so they can just go on and be rude and mean and they have zero subscribers. But I cannot tell you how many people are trying to grow a channel. Then they come to me for help and I set up a consulting time with them. And the first thing I do whenever I get a client is I go and I check out their page. At least eight times out of 10, there's no banner. There might be a picture. Sometimes it's a picture with a group of people and we can't tell who he or she is and there's no banner and there's nothing else in the profile do yourself a favor design yourself a banner and get yourself a profile picture if you need help getting a banner let me know down below in the comments if you didn't know i do do free 30 minute consultations if you are needing help with something that's actually how a lot of people get working with me is they'll book a 30 minute consultation they'll get a few tips and pointers it'll work out and then every once in a while they'll email back and say okay i'd actually like a real session i've got these problems a lot of people make their clients sign up with a minimum number of sessions i am not there at that point right now if you need help with something and you need to schedule a 30 minute block the email is listed down below same email to get yourself a consultation. All right, enough with the shameless plugs. Number two, upload videos. Some people think that the second they want to do YouTube, they've got to upload every single day. No exceptions. There's nothing else. It's got to be every day, sometimes two times a day. But I can tell you, it does not matter how constantly you upload. Constant is not the C word you want. You want a different C word and it's consistency. You can't upload every day tell your viewers maybe you upload every other Wednesday. So you can say, hey, my name's Sarah and thanks for watching my video. Just so you know, I upload every other Wednesday or maybe every Friday. I understand that life gets in the way. Sometimes, you know, you don't have the time to write out a script and film and edit and upload and then do all the other things that have to happen to get a successful video online. Just do what you can. If it can't be every week, make it every other week, but stick to your time. People will show up for those who show up for themselves. So if you say it's every other Wednesday, show up every other Wednesday. And now if you don't have the time to film the video, you can go live. You don't have to sit down and film and edit. You can just sit down, click the live button, and there you are. 
Number three is to respond to the comment section. Think of the comment section like a cocktail party. You walk in, you hear somebody saying something, then you hear somebody say something else, you go and you have the opportunity to respond to every single conversation. And what I recommend doing, if someone says, hey Kristen, this was such a great helpful video, I you know, plan to try out some of those tips. I can write back, you know, I'm so glad they worked out for you. What did you find interesting? Ask a question and not just a stupid question to get another comment, ask an insightful question, have a conversation. This platform is not who has the most subscribers, they're the greatest of all time. This is a way for you to meet other people, socialize, they're watching your video, they are taking the time to not only watch your video, but to comment. So the least you can do is acknowledge that you read the comment, write back to it, and have a conversation. Some of the best feedback I ever got to improve my channel this past year came from the comment section. Like, hey Kristen, do you know that you do too much or you do this too much? Like, they helped me be a better communicator and actually it's helped me when I have to speak in public. Because when I get nervous when I speak in public, I'll like stand back and forth, I'll wobble, I might say an um or a again. You guys have helped me figure out, and the fact that it's on you know, a video, I can go back and see it and I know how to be better the next time. You guys have essentially helped me become a better public speaker, communicator, and just video maker. Number four is to utilize the social media links you're allowed to put on your homepage. If you go to someone's YouTube channel, you can see the banner. You can go on mine, for example, you see my banner, and then the very bottom right-hand side, you can see I have links to my Amazon page, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my mailing list. Those are ways you guys can keep up with me outside of YouTube, and I recommend anybody who wants to grow their channel utilizes every single one. Let's say I go and I follow Susie's YouTube channel and I follow her on Instagram. Well, I don't always go check my YouTube to see what videos have come out that day. You bet I do jump on Instagram every day and you know Sarah over there always shares in her stories or her photos that she has a new video, go check it out. She just went and got my view and my watch time because she shared it on her Instagram and I followed her on Instagram because she had those icons linked by the banner on her front page. It's essentially free marketing for your YouTube channel. Your viewers might not check back on this platform every day, but I bet you there's one up in that bar that they do check every single day. And if you can let them know on those platforms that you have a new video on this platform, the chances of them coming over here and clicking your video, giving you a view and watch time, just one up. Number five, please organize your videos into neat playlists. My mother doesn't work here. Organize your playlists, put everything in order. Make it easy for me, your viewer with an eight second attention span, make it easy for me to scroll down your front page, find the video or the playlist I'm interested in and click on it. There are people that write to me and say, Kristen, I'm not getting any views on my video. What am I doing wrong? I click on their YouTube, I see their picture and their banner and no videos on the front page. It actually says, this YouTuber has no content. Then when I click on the video tab, there was a hundred videos right there. Put your videos into organized playlists so when we come by your channel, we can see what kind of videos you have, what you provide, and of course you're gonna tell us to subscribe while we're watching those videos. Do yourself and your viewers a favor by taking all of your videos and all that content that you spent time to make that can get views at any time in the game organize it into nice playlists and put them on your channel. Number six is to collaborate with other channels. Now there are certain ways to collaborate. I have a two point rule for me when it comes to collaborations. One, I have to like the channel and the kind of content that it provides. And number two, I have to think it's gonna provide my viewers something either interesting or entertaining. I've gotten a lot of people that write to me that say, hey, um, you got a lot of subscribers and I want a lot of subscribers, so we should work together so you can give me a lot of subscribers. No one is going to work with you if that is how you preface your emails. A year ago, I wanted to do a collaboration on the idea of regifting. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it rude? What are people's thoughts on it? So I went through my subscription feed, people I was already subscribed to, people I've already watched their videos, I know them, I know their niche, I know their stories. I had written on a lot of their videos, had conversations, in their comment sections so when I reached out to them via email I was able to say hi my name is Kristen I've watched your channel for a very long time I've got this idea that I think my viewers would like as well as your viewers and then I explained the idea of regifting I wrote that out to I think eight to ten 
different YouTube channels, and I think we had six or seven write back and say yes. A seven channel collaboration, and it was great. It was like a year ago, and I organized it. I was like the project manager. I wrote out to everybody, I explained what I wanted to do, the idea, how it would help my channel, their channel, the day it was going to come out, the time to upload, the kind of thumbnail, and then I asked them to give me their URLs a day early so I could put them on a playlist, and it was great. Moral of the story here, be smart when you ask to collab. It's not all about you. It's honestly about your viewers and the other person's viewers. Number seven is to stay true to your word. If you say you're gonna upload every single Wednesday, upload every single Wednesday. Like I said a few points back, it's not about constantly uploading every day, it's about consistently uploading when you say you're going to upload. I've seen channels lose subscribers and views because they just stopped posting. Without anything, they dropped off the face of the earth and their viewers went, wait, where are they? And they wait and they wait and they wait and they go, this person's never gonna be here, I'm unsubscribing. Number eight is to be smart about your three T's. Titles, tags, and thumbnails. Be smart about them, make sure they are true to what the content is, do not clickbait something, don't say that you're gonna do a house tour on your million dollar house if you're really going to show us your modest apartment. You understand. Titles, tag, thumbnails. Number nine is to start an email list. With the way the YouTube algorithm changes and some people not getting notified when a video goes live, verify that every single person that wants to see your video gets some sort of a notification and you can do that by having an email list. I don't email my email list every single day. It's maybe once a week, maybe every two weeks, just to give them an idea like, hey, here's what's going on and then I actually individually link every single video they may have missed since my last email and it has little links I can click on them and it sends them right to my YouTube page. Having an email list ensures that whether or not YouTube gives them the notification you uploaded, whether or not they got the notification from YouTube, they got the notification from you. And last but not least, number 10, make business cards. I cannot tell you how many times I go out and I film something, whether it just be a vlog or I'm filming in like a lobby of a hotel or something. People approach me and say, that's so cool, what are you doing? And we get in a conversation, they go, oh, that's great, can I have your card? Or that's great, can you tell me your name? That's great, can I get your information? I don't have a card and I feel so foolish writing it on a napkin or a piece of paper or just taking their phone and typing it in like they're 12. Get business cards. I just did. I actually just ordered them a few days ago. They're finally coming in. Having a business card not only ensures that those people who ask the questions can get your information right away because we have eight second attention spans, it also shows that you are serious about the brand and site that you are building. Again, showing that you are serious about what you are doing inspires other people to want to be like you and follow you because you are offering them something. Anyway, those are my 10 ways to grow a YouTube channel for free. Once again, let me know down in the comment section your goals for 2018, whether you wanna start a channel, grow a channel, collaborate with somebody, make your business cards, anything that we just talked about, leave them down below in the comment section. If you do have any other questions, feel free to email me. I am setting up consultations in the new year. They are on first come, first serve basis. And once again, if you have not yet done these two things already, give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel to receive any and all future video updates. If you are looking for ways to sign up for my email list, the link is down below. You can just click it, type in your name and your email. You'll be instantly added. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy New Year, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. One more thing, you guys. This year, I have been nominated for a Broadway World Award for Best Leading Actress in a Musical from when I did Pirates of Penzance, and voting is open from now until December 31st. All you have to do to cast a vote is enter a valid email address go down click continue i'll be category number six best leading actress in a musical you can click continue through all of them you'll find my name in category six and bonus points if you can find my boyfriend chris rusin he'll be in category 26. once you click through all the categories you'll enter your name your email address you'll select no to receive any future updates then you just click finish and you are done once again voting is open from now until december 31st Please share this with anybody who you would know would like to support the arts, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.